a revision, has been made to 220.10 in the 2023 National Electrical Code that states, branch circuit loads shall be calculated in accordance with the following sections. Item 1 covers 220.14 for other loads, all occupancies. Item 2 covers 220.16 for additions to existing installations. Item 3 covers 220.41 for dwelling units. Item 4 covers 220.42 for lighting loads for non-dwelling occupancies. Item 5 covers 220.44 for hotel and motel occupancies. The panel has rewritten the language of 220.10 to correlate with actions taken during the first revision stage. Loads necessary for branch circuit calculations are included in the new list items under 220.10 General. Section 220.10 is revised and restructured to identify the various requirements applied when calculating branch circuit loads. The panel's action during the first draft relocated multiple sections to Part 3, Feeder and Service Load Calculations. While those relocated requirements do apply when calculating feeder and service load calculations, they are also applied when calculating branch circuit loads. Rather than repeat requirements in both Parts 2 and 3, a list is created in Section 220.10 that identifies all sections within 220 that apply to branch circuit load calculations. To improve usability, section 220.10 is divided into two sections, with subsection A remaining as the general requirement, consistent with the scope of 220.10 in the 2020 National Electrical Code, and subsection B, moving to new section 210.11, resulting in the renumbering and lettering of the subsections to reflect the text as a standalone section. A revision has been made to clarify and correlate with actions taken during the first revision stage. Loads necessary for branch circuit calculations are included in the new list items under 220.10 General. The code making panel's action during the first draft relocated multiple sections to Part 3 Feeder and Service Load Calculations. While those relocated requirements do apply when calculating feeder and service load calculations, they are also applied when calculating branch circuit loads. Rather than repeat requirements in both parts 2 and 3, a list is created in section 220.10 that identifies all sections within 220 that apply to branch circuit load calculations. <laughs>